Welcome back to my YouTube. He's just reading a little weather book. He's obsessed with the weather, like obsessed. Loves tornadoes, loves learning about it, the solar system, planets, different countries. It's really cool. But I'm gonna start off this vlog kind of just going through a few things that I've been doing in my morning, I suppose routine. This isn't a full morning routine video. Are you right? Can you read it? And what does it say? The highest clouds are up to 12 kilometers above the earth and the lowest clouds can touch the ground. But wow. why does that cloud have rain coming down from it? Because that's where the rain comes from, the cloud. Two mm. seconds, guys. So this video isn't a full morning routine, but while you're watching this, I would really recommend getting a pen and paper. So I'm gonna give you just 20 seconds to go and get a pen and paper because I think if you write this down, you're more likely to implement it. I'm gonna put a little timer on the screen so you guys can go and get a pen and paper. Ooh. Hi everyone. <laughs> Alrighty, hoping you guys have got a pen and paper. So You've heard me talk about little things that I do do each morning to kind of start my day off, but I think last night for the first time I actually wrote down a bit more of a structure and like a to-do list. I got this like planner thing from um, Steph Pay's planners and it's like a to-do list of what, like I wrote this last night, what I was going to do tomorrow. And on the to-do I just wrote down the first few things that I like to do each morning. So I'm going to pop them up on the screen so you can write them down. I'm not saying you have to do any of these, but I find having this routine it just starts my day off so good and if i start my day off so good the rest of my day i feel way more productive and i feel way way more clearer and less scattered less anxious i'm ticking things off i'm feeling accomplished i'm not forgetting things that's on paper or if you use like your phone or whatever and it just it just feels good i like feeling more organized and making sure that my priorities are, are in place um so what i write it wrote out first was breath work so when i wake up i always do my breath work first it can literally just be for two minutes even 10 big breaths but something just to calm my body and get that breath flowing does through my body mean it'll rain heavy later yeah that one does wet weather's on its way the next thing i do is stretch so i always get up and stretch i've done this for the last five months every single morning i got onto a routine for this because of my back and now i'm just in a routine i am rolling with it because as we get older i think it's so important we keep moving and keep stretching because we do tend to sit at desk more and get tight more when we're younger we're just so flexible so just keeping that up hydrate i always have 500 mils of warm lemon water this is so important for me that means maybe storm coming later. Maybe. Storm coming later. That's just a book though, not it's not actually here on the Gold Coast. Um, the next thing I do is gratitude. Now, even if I'm not writing something down, what I did last yesterday was listen to, I just typed in YouTube, um, gratitude chat. And this motivational chat came up about being grateful and it made me feel so grateful and so it's good like within my body. Right Two now. seconds, guys. Well, I said it, vlogging and <laughs> mum life is so hard to juggle, but that's okay, we'll get there. Um, so yeah, even if you're writing down three things you're grateful for, even one thing, you're putting it into an app, you're saying it, you are singing it, whatever, whatever it looks like for you. Even yesterday, just listened to a chat, it really did get me into a place of gratitude. And remember, you can't be angry and grateful at the same time. So if you can be more in a place of gratitude more often, you're more than likely going to feel more happy more often. <laughs> the next thing we do is move. So Taj and I normally go for a walk. This morning I just did it on a treadmill because it was so cold outside. But move your body. Any way, shape or form that looks and feels good to you 
do it. It might be going to the gym, it might be doing yoga, it might be just your stretches, it might be a treadmill, it might be a gym class, it might be a dance class, it might be putting music on and just dancing like no one's watching for 10 minutes. Just move your body. We cannot forget to move. It is so important. So that is every single day. These are just non-negotiables. Um, take my supplements take my supplements so I have supplements that I take in the morning and supplements that I take at night time um, I take so many different supplements I try to get obviously a lot of nutrients from my foods but there are so many incredible supplements out there these days that just add nutrients enzymes vitamins minerals energy to our bodies so I think why not and especially if they taste good so I take my supplements um, and then I've also got on here journal but I normally journal at night time I like to kind of I suppose vent out my day to my journal. I said this in my last video, I have a love-hate relationship with journaling. I, I don't love it all the time, but I do know that it's really beneficial for my mental health. So I really like sticking towards that. And then I've wrote, written out like my actual tasks when it comes to work. So first of all, it is like my health, my mental health, my state, my energy, they're my non-negotiables and they are the priority over anything to do with work and then I'll move on to my work tasks but I really hope that can help you and if you've written them down I feel like you're more likely going to try it just try it if nothing changes in your life nothing changes so if you're wanting to be more healthier more mindful more conscious more grateful more happy more healthier more patient more you want more growth you want more productivity, you want more calmness, whatever it is in your life, you need to start implementing things that can help you get to where, get towards being that person and feeling that way and living that way. So it just starts with you and it starts with just little things like this. And I'm really enjoying the solid routine that I have and I can feel the changes within my body and within my mind and it feels good. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I know sometimes it's just like, Oh, I, I want to do all, I want to change and I want to feel better. I want this and that, but where do I start? This is a good place to start. So let me know. Give this video a, th a thumbs up if it does help you. Yeah, babe. What happens if, if ice cream on a tornado? If ice cream went in a tornado, tornado, what do you reckon would happen? No tip. It would probably spin all the way up in it. Like how far? Show me how fast. <laughs> um, give this video a thumbs up if it did help or also comment below if there's something new that you've learned within that or I'd love to know what your morning routine is like what do you guys do that has really changed your life or changed your mental health or helped your mental health I feel like this is a platform that we can all help each other so comment below what you do or if you've learned something new or if this has helped you but I'm gonna go and make my breakfast now which I will also show you because I have a like on off relationship with eggs as well, but at the moment I'm really loving them. But it's like the way that I make my eggs on toast. So, they come downstairs, you can have those crackers. You get it. Excuse me. No, I'm going down to make my eggs. You can come down if you like. <laughs> Unpredictable. So original. You will never back in down. All right, first up, two pieces of paleo loaf. I have not tried this one. I'm just trialing a whole heap of different types of paleo breads. Um, so I'll let you guys know if this one's nice. Two eggs because I'm gonna have two pieces of toast. Spinach, pickled onions because I just love them. And then I alternate between different types of pestos as my base. I'm loving this red one. It's gluten-free, but it does have a little bit of parmesan, I'm pretty sure, which I'm not meant to have any cheese, but this little bit doesn't affect me too much. So yes, I pretty much am dairy-free, but little things like this, I just let slide. I'm going to cook my eggs in coconut oil, salt and pepper, and then I absolutely love this. It's from Nourish Well. I got sent it in my PO box and I, I'm obsessed with it. It is so yummy. It's obviously gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. You can make it into a cheese sauce or you can just like sprinkle it over. It is so delicious. Where's the ingredients? Because it is so much flavor. There's the ingredients. Oh my gosh, it is just so yummy so i sprinkled that all over as well oh and balsamic vinegar balsamic vinegar this one is so yummy oh my gosh it's blurry hang on this one is really really delicious or i also like 
this one's really really nice as well this is like a coca coconut one so I just realized the time and it's nine o'clock and my training session's actually at 10. So I feel like if I have two pieces, I'm going to be a bit too full. So I'm going to have one now and one at post training. But normally for breaking, I would definitely have two. Um, one just wouldn't be enough to fill me out. But it's probably going to be a really nice like pre-workout because I don't take any pre-workouts. But um, I actually normally train fasted unless it's in the afternoon. But yeah, one piece will do, do me for today. Kind of ignorant. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for you, baby. Don't know how you're making me feel this way. What can I say? That's what I like about you. So dangerous. I get this rush when I'm with you. I go all in to lose or win. Feel things up to knock them down. It's the way we keep our hearts. the old PA Hello. and then Lynn's the new PA. Look how close you are to the camera. It's <laughs> glowing. <laughs> how cute! <laughs> and I'm just getting ready for a little home workout which I thought I would film for this vlog for you guys. But first camera. I am in a massive stage of decluttering. So last week I did a bit of my pantry and all of my old supplements and I just, looking at my wardrobe, it's quite a big space. I'm very lucky Steve gave me the whole space, but there's just so many clothes in here that I do not wear. I pretty much live in baseline, so I just wanna clear anything that I haven't worn in ages that I'm probably not gonna wear. So I thought I'd vlog it because it might be fun. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be really ruthless and just chuck anything on the ground that I'm not worrying anymore, so let's get started. You are only a shadow away from me to be my everything, cause you are only a shadow. Thank you. 
touch me Won't let you go to my head Cause I know I'm dealing with the devil Evening, everybody. So it's currently 8:02. I put Taj to bed. I was just saying on my Instagram stories and Snapchat. If you don't follow me, come over and say hello. It's basically like daily vlogs every single day. And lately, I've just been getting into the biggest DNMs um, about what I've been going through, what I'm learning, what I'm feeling, or just things that come up. And I just, I just love being able to have a platform where I can use my voice, not just not just post pretty photos like I want to have real conversations in online and offline and I'm really finding that social media is such a cool place that we can all share and learn from each other so come over and say hello but I was just saying over on there that Taj had tonight probably the biggest meltdown I've ever seen him have he was extremely tired and I said no to the iPad tonight because he had watched the iPad during the day and I limit how much screen time he has um, and he had Sunny Girl here all afternoon. It was past his bedtime and yeah, he just lost his marbles. So I feel quite drained of energy right now, but it's just part of being a mum sometimes. And Steve's at tennis. So normally we would like tap in and out if one of us is struggling or getting drained, but he's at tennis at the moment. So anyways, as you guys would have seen, I cleaned out my wardrobe. Ward, ward, can't talk. Cleaned out my wardrobe today. Uh, I think there was like seven or eight bags. We dropped off four bags at St. Vinny's which is our like local charity shop. So I dropped those off. And then the three other bags I'm going to sell on Facebook Marketplace. Well, Taylor's actually going to help me do it because she uses it all the time to sell her old shoes and old motorbike gear. She sold her car on there. She sold clothes on there. Um, and I got so many messages on my Instagram when I said I was cleaning up my wardrobe from a lot of you asking if you could buy my clothes. And I was like, I never even thought about selling them. Um, so some of it's going to go on there, but Taylor's kind of helped me organize it because I've never used Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I feel really good that I got rid of so much. There's still a lot here, but I feel like I did a massive cull and I've got like a whole rack. This rack over here is purely baseline. And obviously as my collections grow, that area will grow, I think. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to <laughs> get it even more in order and change all of the coat hangers to be all black because there's black, white, gold, wooden, silver, and it's it's not a vibe, I want more black, and just kind of neaten all of this area up here behind me that's got all my bags and just bits and pieces everywhere, so I really want to clean all of that up, which will be good. Um, I actually had a clairvoyant appointment tomorrow, this girl that um, two of my girlfriends have been going to, and she said she was so accurate. The one I went to last year, I actually vlogged about it, and then so many of you messaged me and were like, I've been to her, and she said exactly the same thing to me, so I was like, well, that's annoying. Um, one thing she did say was for Steve to get his heart checked and lately he's had to get a lot of heart tests done. He's had a few like health issues this year and just not episodes, but moments where it's really scared us with his heart. Um, and his dad did pass away, I think 40, 40 something. Um, so Steve's getting all of his heart checked out at the moment. He's had to go through so much testing. So that's probably the only thing that she kind of was pretty on track with or like, I don't know, maybe, maybe just remind us that he should get it checked. But I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt. I don't live my life by them, but I just, I just like going once a year and trying someone new and hearing what they've got to say. I've been to like the last four I've been to have all said that I'll have a daughter next, which if you follow me on social media, I've, I just don't ever see myself having a daughter. I just, I don't know, I've always thought I'll be a mum to two boys. And I, I feel like I'm meant to be a mum of two boys. <laughs> but that's something consistently they've always said. So who knows if that will happen. But she's just cancelled. So now it's not till next week. So I'll give you guys an update. I'll vlog like what I can next week when I go. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to do all of this. I've got more time to that tomorrow. 
and then I've got a baseline fitting the next day which is really exciting for the next activewear collection. So we have a loungewear dropping um, at the end of June and then our basics performance collection. So all of our plain black tights, plain crop tops in all black and white and all support because um, we've got three different types of support when it comes to tights. They're all restocking just after the lounge. And then after that, so like the first, I think it's end of August, first week of September maybe, is our next big activewear collection. And this is the biggest collection I've ever done. And it is hands down my favorite, prettiest designs, colors, pattern. There's one pattern. Everything about this activewear collection is just like on another level. Even one of the jackets that's in there, like you would wear out. Like it's so pretty. It's so versatile. The colors you guys are going to dye, it just goes with every skin tone, every hair color. It is just is beautiful. I cannot wait for. But before that, we've got another lounge dropping and that is just epic. We actually did a photo shoot this afternoon. Um, I'm not sure if by the time this vlog's out, you guys would know the colors yet. If it is, I'll pop some up on the screen. But if not, just make sure you're following at Baseline and Instagram so you guys can keep up to date because it was really pretty. Oh! I can't wait for it as well. There's two colored patterns in that and I'm like really obsessed with one of the colors. It just is just, it's my vibe. Anyways, I'm going to head off to bed. I'm going to go for an early morning walk. Taj is off to his new daycare tomorrow. And then um, I'll show you what this looks like once we've like really, really finalized it. But definitely looking a lot better. And then the shelves. I actually didn't clean out the drawers, so I probably need to do that tomorrow as well. Anyways, hope you guys have a good sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, the update. So, Lynn's and I, Lynn's and I, Lynn's and I <laughs> we have just changed all of the coat hangers to be black. So that's really nice. That's the vibe. Oh, I can see one more I missed. And now I've just pulled everything from my shelves down here. I'm going to clean all this up and sort all that out so that can be put away nice and neat. Getting there. So I've got other bags in here. So that was a full empty drawer. This is all rubbish. This is a box of stuff that I do need to go through. Um, there was another handbag there. The white one. I'm gonna tip out all the stuff with the handbag. There's so much stuff, you know. How much stuff do we need? We just don't need it. in the back there. At the back, that's <laughs> the white shelf. Quite cute. That's rubbish. We're gonna put all the hats now, the baseline hats, up on these two shelves. So that will look really nice. Red. And so this hat is actually one of the first baseline hats we did that is not a high pony one. So we are gonna be bringing these back because they're more of a, um, shallower fit whereas these ones are more of a deeper fit so there is quite a difference um so they're coming back don't stress guys they're coming back these look so pretty up here do we need another shelf do you reckon mm. no i think you should put this black with this one Oh yeah, that's black and black. Yeah, and then... And then I'll have this white one and this one. So the whites can all go in a row and the blacks can all go in a row. So if I were you, I would put that one. Like that? Yep, or behind it probably. Yeah. Charcoal. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's pretty. And this is all my baseline area. And as I do more collections, this is just going to grow and grow, but I just... Yeah. Can I be really love anal? It. Love it. it. And we've got the rack downstairs with the new stuff, but love having it all displayed. And then I've got and it's, okay, all the shorts, tights, and sports bras. So cool. That's a really good. Okay, so we've now decided we want to take all of these out and put them up where Lynn's is. That bedtime stuff's just gonna go on that lower shelf, so it's like baseline, baseline. Yes, it's happening. 
Welcome to my wardrobe, a tour of my, it's, I mean it's still massive, I, I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff and I have seven or eight bags of stuff and a lot of rubbish as well, I've just, I've been really ruthless, there's still a lot but it's looking a lot better, so we've got our shoes, Lindsay colour coordinated the wardrobe which is really really nice, I really like that, it's a vibe, these are all my like speaking event kind of outfits, they're more like boss babe, business kind of suits and matching skirts which I really like. All of my runners and I have a couple more downstairs because I definitely have a obsession with runners. Colour coordinated. Colour coordinated. Baseline hats, baseline scrunchies, a very expensive camera that I never use. No, we do sometimes use it to take content and when we use it we're like oh we should use that more often but we just don't. My little mini collection of handbags, perfumes. And Lindsay was commenting on how much how many perfumes I have, and I honestly don't use perfume that much anymore since we've owned Hideaway because when I use the custard or the body mist spray, I'm like I smell good enough as it is. But I definitely do love the aesthetic of like how it looks in my wardrobe. This is my favourite perfume, the Burberry one. Every time Megan wears this, I'm like, oh, you smell so good. So Steve got me that for Christmas last year. More baseline hat, that's my phone. I'll call them back. Get <laughs> <laughs> a mask. Um, so we've got all the whites, the pinks, the blacks, red, and as you can see, we've color coordinated again, which is amazing. All of my winter jumpers, jeans and pajamas, shorts and skirts, and then singlet tops t-shirts, oversized shirts, like some more summery stuff and more shoes. So, and then over here is my makeup station, which I absolutely love. Don't ask me where this is from because Greta and Sammy got that for me for my birthday, like two or three years ago. Until I moved into this house, I haven't been able to use it. So, got all of that, which is really cool. And then I don't know where all this is from either. Kelsey organized all this for me. And Kelsey's my PA, so that's got all my makeup and lipsticks. If I wasn't a personal trainer, back in the day, I definitely would have been a um, makeup artist. I love makeup. I don't play with it as much as what I used to, but I do love makeup, so. That's kind of my two and that's my bin. <laughs> that's my bin. This is a box of stuff I'm still just getting through, bits and bobs. But, um, <laughs> Lindsay thought these were angel beads, they're not. <laughs> this is actually, it sticks onto your, like, windows or mirrors so that you can film. So Megzi and I, we film our TikToks on here, or if you're in the car and you want to stick it on the window, so it, it just comes in handy, it's not angle beads. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go eat now, I'm taking Lindsay to the Cardamom Pod, which is a vegetarian restaurant on the Gold Coast, because she's veggie, and it's delicious, and we've got work to do there, right? Work. Yeah, work. <laughs> work, let's go. Love, try to forget about you, makes me restless, waiting for love, waiting for I can do it's hopeless to be holding on to you. I guess we forgot about the way we could sit and talk all night. And we just let the good times pass and got caught up in our fights. I say I don't mind, but that's a lie. Thought we'd work it out. 